Now, just with my smart assistant and with my smartphone, I can literally control my DIY window shades. So in this tutorial, I will show you that there are affordable Zigbee smart roller shades and blinds and also add them into Apple HomeKit. Okay, so one of the things we wanted for our smart home build was to automate our window shades. The problem was there was no home kit solution available in the country we live. They are too expensive to purchase and also at the same time too expensive to import. So here is a complete DIY solution that allows me to be creative with my new house build and as a whole this keeps the total solution under budget. Now the total cost for one smart roller shade is $179 that also includes the materials. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can use. So pretty please don't be shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Now this model right here that I have was sent by Zemi Smart. It uses the Zigbee protocol. Supports around 35 kilos of weight. It can be controlled by using RF remote and also fits in a 38 millimeter tubing. But if you're considering a DIY smart solution, be it for a curtain, shade or blind, then please keep these points in mind. Number one, the weight. Typically these motors support between 10 to 50 kilos of material weight. Two, you want to consider the length. Typically, again, these motors support between one to eight meters of curtain tracks or metal tubes. Then if you're planning to automate between shades and blinds, then you will find two types of motors. One that we see over here supports between 32 to 38 millimeter tubing, or you can also find motors that connect directly to your blinds existing pull beads. Now, once you answer these points, it becomes a starting point to source your Zigbee motor and the best place to visit is this website called zigbee.blackadder.com. Go to covers and you will see around 50 plus models from popular brands that will support your curtains, blinds and shades. Now, this solution that I have on my table is for those who are replacing your existing blinds or you're moving into a new home. However, there are also battery models that support Zigbee and you can install them with your existing blinds. Well, for all of this to work with Apple HomeKit, you will need one, obviously a Zigbee curtain or a roller blind motor. We will be using the Zemi Smart tubular motor. Now, just a, a caution, when you purchase these roller motors, please purchase the RF remote that comes along with it. With the help of this remote, you will be able to set the upper and the lower limits and also giving you that by the bed additional control as well. Two, you will need a Zigbee controller. We will be using this Convy 2 stick that's connected to uh, my Argon 1 that also has a Raspberry Pi 4 installed. And you'll also need the Zigbee 2 MQTT bridge installed. Don't worry, I've got guides in the description on how to install Zigbee 2 MQTT using a Raspberry Pi or a Synology NAS. And to enable that HomeKit integration, we will be using HomeBridge that installed in the same uh, Argon one over here. Plus I've got guides in the description to install HomeBridge. Now, as always, I've broken down the video into six parts with their timestamps in the description. They are one, we're going to pair the RF remote with this motor. From there, we're going to integrate this device with Zigbee to MQTT. From there, I'll quickly show you on the installation of the motor and the blind. Then we are going to go and set the upper and the lower limits of the motor. Go over to Zigbee to MQTT to see any additional configuration. Then we'll hop over to HomeBridge to see if the curtain has been exported and then your HomeKit control. So let's not waste our time like I always say and let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so before we go and install the motor into the tubing or into the blind, what we want to do first is we want to pair this remote with the motor. So we're able to set the upper limits and the lower limits. And with this Zigbee to MQTT knows that message because from Zigbee to MQTT, you can't um, program the upper and the lower limit. So when you take a closer look at the motor, you will see that here there's a red button. So if you press it three times, it goes into pairing mode. Okay, so again, if you press into three times, 
goes into pairing mode. And if you pair it, put five times, one, two, three, four, five, it resets the motor. But before we can go and pair it with the Zigbee 2MQG, let's go first, pair it with the remote so it becomes much more easier to um, program the upper and lower limits. So I'm just going to rest it over here and I'm going to take the remote and all I'm going to do is change the channel to one, press this one time over here and I'm going to press the down button. That being said now, we see that it's moving, stop and down. Go back up. You see that it's working. So with this, it uh, confirms very quick. So you want to press this once or one time. This motor is going to turn twice, or it gives a slight jerk, and then you're going to press the down button, and then it pairs, and then you can move it up, stop, or down. Now to pair it with the Zigbee to MQTT is very straightforward. So let's go to Zigbee to MQTT. You want to make sure you want to go to settings. Permit join, submit, and you want to go to devices, and we're just going to press this three times. One, two, three. And we should see a message. So there it's found the curtain, and you will see here, and we're going to call this bedroom and sink. You want to give it a couple of seconds and that's about it. So if we go now to bedroom, exposes, and if you want to just check, you can do open. So it's working. Stop. Close. Stop. All you have to do is slide in the motor into the tubing and until the rubber is flushed installed with the tubing you can clearly see that the motor is hidden into the tubing the only thing you have access to the electrical cable that's connected to the main supply and also the rf and zigbee antennas that's how clean the installation will be and from there i obviously ask the assistance of my wife to help me to install the curtain since it's around about two meters in width and it was quite difficult to do it on my own. So a kind reminder if for all of these installations, ask for support so that you don't strain your back or fall off a stool. Once the installation is complete, you can see that the entire installation is flushed and there is no gaps between the motor or the tubing. Now with the smart blinds installed, let's quickly go now and configure the upper limit and lower limit. So with the remote configured, let's press the lower limit. So press down. Now if you see this error over here that the orientation is inverted, it's very simple. All we have to do is open up the back side and we're going to click this four times. One, two, three, four and click on top. Now let's try again, go up. So now the orientation is good. So what we'll do first is let's go set up the upper limit. Stop, click once. So let's try one more time. So when you see the motor jerking, it means it's got the upper limit. Now let's go to the lower limit. Stop, then go by, click once, and down button. Now both the upper limit and the lower limit have been set. So let's roll up the blind.
So that's the upper limit set. So automatically it's stopping at the position. Let's try with the lower value. And you will see that the blinds will stop at that position that we set. So perfect. So this shows that the upper value and the lower set values have been programmed and completed by the motor. So with that, the entire configuration of the smart blinds together with the remote is completed. Now what we will do is go over to Zigbee to MQTT and see if anything else can be configured. All right, so we've completed the installation, we've set the limits, we've also gone and paired it with Zigbee to MQTT. What I want to show you right now is, is some couple of tweaks that you can do. So let's access our Zigbee to MQTT page and let's click on the device. So in this case, it's called Bedroom. And you will see to that it's a device that has a router. So this helps in amplifying your, net, your Zigbee network. You will also see all of these functionalities are exposed. So the only thing that will work from the um, web UI is the state open and close and stop. The uh, positioning which automatically correlates with the state. And there's only one thing that doesn't work over here, the motor speed. So even if you play with these values, the motor speed doesn't work. And also you are not going to see the set positions uh, option over here. So that's why you need that RF remote. There is a request in GitHub to have, have this functionality, but unfortunately, it's still a work in progress. Then we're going to go to um, settings. Um, this gives a little bit more information on the device parameters, but you want to go into settings specifics. Now, remember in the setting the limits, we were able to click, the, uh, click it four times to change the orientation. You can do it over here. So you can uh, change it to true to invert the uh, cover or you leave it as false if you do it by the RF remote. So I've left it as false because we had done it through the RF remote. Besides than that, there's nothing much. Once you finish all of the configuration, all you have to do is go to home bridge and just restart service. That's it. Automatically, it's going to pull in the device and you will see that the curtain is now available. Let's go to accessories you see that the curtain is available over here. So you can control the curtain from here. And if you go to HomeKit, you'll see that the curtain is available over here. So you can slide control, add it to your rooms, add to any automations and um, see its status. So very quickly, let's go see uh, Liam doing a quick demo so we can see how the whole thing works. Hi, my name is Liam. Let's do a quick demo. Hey Siri, close curtain. Eddie, it works. Let's try again. Hey Siri, open curtain. Eddie, it works. Let's try again. Hey Siri, Close curtain to 50%. Eddie, it works. Bye, see you in the next video. Now, with the demo completed, the same DIY solution can be added to your desired scenes. And also, if you have presence of lux sensors installed in your home, you can automate them by opening or closing based on presence. Or when it's too sunny outside, you can even have it close to a certain position. And just like that, my friends, it's a wrap up. Now to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because you know that's the driver, that's the real motivator. And if there's anything I can help you with, please don't feel shy to leave a comment down below to keep the conversation going. And most importantly, don't forget to support the awesome developers that allows us to have these affordable DIY solutions. So until the next time, my friends, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.